tell me, has, has your son found another job yet? No, my lady. They've let him stay on, and he always tries to make himself useful, but it can't go on forever. And anyway, he's lost his wage. But he's a properly trained valet. He could even be a butler. I hope so, my lady. But it's a changing world. You don't have to tell me. I've placed advertisements, Mr Carson. You know I have. But the answers weren't suitable. I didn't get any answers. Well, if they did, but when I wrote back, I heard nothing more. Well, I don't know what to suggest. Because I can't stay here. Mr Molesley, I should hate us to appear inhospitable. But I can't stay here. Is it fair on his lordship? It has been six months. Well, suppose I could go to my dad's until I get something sorted. What a good idea. Servant's lunch is on the table. Thank you, Mrs Packmore. Oh, cheer up, Mr Mosley. It may never happen. <laughs> it already has. It's an honour, Your Ladyship. I have a message for your son. Lady Shackleton is joining me for luncheon. I want him to come and help. But what about Mr Spratt? Well, Spratt will be there, of course. But Mosley can still take an active part. Lady Shackleton tells me her butler is retiring. Won't she have made arrangements to find another one? Well, that is the point. She hasn't yet decided whether to replace him or not. So, if Mosley can demonstrate his skills? Mr Sprout won't mind. It's not his business to mind. No. Well, very good, my lady. Thank you very much. Your ladyship, Mr Bates. Bates? I'm very sorry to interrupt you when you're busy, my lady. It concerns Mr. Molesley, the younger. You make him sound like a Greek philosopher. He has fallen on hard times, and I know that you have helped him in the past. Are you asking me to give him some money? I am asking for money, yes. Although he's too proud to accept it as a gift. Oh, how refreshing. Although I think we can find a way. Go on. I know Gwen would appreciate it. I don't see why. I didn't know her that well. But you can sign it, surely. And why don't you come over tonight? We haven't seen you in a while. You're being very friendly. Aren't I usually friendly? No. I mean, you're not discourteous, Mr Bates, I'll give you that, but you're not friendly. Except Lana, of course. And I shall try to do better in the future. See you tonight. I agree, Mrs. Hughes. Mr. Morsley, is that you? Come in and have a cup of tea. Mr. Bates thought I might be welcome. And so you are. Sit down. Mr. Morsley, I'm glad you're here. I was going through my desk this afternoon and I came upon that note of mine and, uh, if you're willing, I'd like to pay it off now. What note? Well, you lent me some money when I first came here and I'm sorry I hadn't paid it back before now, but the truth is, I'm afraid I forgot. I don't remember anything about it. Thirty pounds? Aren't you the lucky one? Well, surely there must be some mistake. Oh, you'll not deny that's your signature. Mm -hmm. Plain as day. How was your trip to York? Never mind that. What's going on? Mr Bates has remembered your £30 to Mr Molesley. What? But, 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 no. There you are, and thank you for coming to my aid when I needed it. Now, I must go. I have some things to do before his lordship comes up. Thank you, Mr Molesley. Mr Carson, can I have a word? Certainly, James. Why 
Why did you do that? You have put up with so much that I couldn't change. So if there is ever the slightest thing I can make better for you, then I will. But how did you manage it? Don't I keep telling you? Prison was an education. <laughs>